low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran so Hey guys, and happy Sunday. Welcome back in the kitchen. You're cooking with Pull Up on Team Curry Cooks. So today we are making a pork rolls dinner. We're gonna have a pork rolls. We have some string beans with pieces of uh, riblets in it, rice, and you guys, we have some potato salad on the side that I have in the fridge. And we're gonna top it all off with a nice, sweet, decadent brown. Let's get into it. You guys, the first thing I'm going to do is go down in my red Dutch oven here with some 100% grapeseed oil. It is great for high heat cooking. And you guys, I buy this two bottles at a time, okay? After I put that grapeseed oil inside the bottom of my Dutch oven, I'm gonna go in and season these rib pieces with some Creole seasoning, the bold one. All right, I'm gonna season it up like so. I'm just doing the Creole seasoning alone. All right, after that, I'm gonna take my scissors here. I'm gonna cut it up. So in every bite of green beans, guess what you're getting? A piece of meat. I will sprinkle some more seasoning on them after I finish cutting them in pieces, okay? This is what I do with the flap of the rib that's hanging over off a slab, okay? I just cut them up like so. And you guys, they're very good inside of green beans. I did them inside of stewed tomatoes as well. So try it out sometimes. If you have a slab of rib, cut that extra piece off on the side. You guys can use it for anything. Use it to season your pot. I'm gonna keep one piece whole just in case my husband wants a taste of it. All right. With my clean hand, I'm gonna go back in with that Tony's. You guys, let's throw it in there because that pot is begging for it, it's hot. All right, so the piece that I'm gonna throw in there for my husband, I'm going to leave a hole like so. Season them up on both sides. And I'm going to toss it in this pan as well. You guys, this don't take long to boil. To brown or cook, excuse me, I got choked by the seasoning. Sneezing, you're not seasoning, okay? Alright, let's do this. Got us a wooden spoon here because I find that wooden spoons are the best to cook with inside of cast iron pots. Alright you guys, so I had to go off camera for a few seconds, get that sneezing out of the way. I'm going to flip over that piece that I have for my husband in there. Once that fries up the way I want it you guys, I'm going to go ahead and add in half of a bell pepper and half of one yellow onion. Just put that up in there like so. I'm throwing pieces away as always. Come on, girl, get in there. Come uh on, -huh, you got to cook with the other rest of your folks. All right. You guys, that other piece can stand and get some of this seasoning too, okay? You guys, don't worry if your meat doesn't cook all the way, it's going to cook within the beans, okay? And as it cooks in the beans, you guys, they'll be fully cooked. All right? We're just gonna do that up like so, okay? And yes, I have a fork inside of this Dutch oven, only to flip this big piece over. All right? I wanna turn the burner up. I'm gonna take that big piece out. And what I'm gonna do with that big piece is 
send it over to my husband so he can finish it off in the air fryer, okay? All right, I got it pre-cooked for you. So it can go in the air fryer, all right? You guys, let's finish up our beans here. We have mad flavor in the bottom of this pie here. All right, you guys, we got a 50 ounce can of strained beans here that I have drained the brine off because I don't use that. So what I'm gonna do here is put these beans in there just like that, okay? Let's give it a good stir. You don't have to use smoke meat all the time, baby. You can season up some fresh meat put it in that pan like this, go on about your day, okay? I'm gonna go in with some roasted garlic and herb. You guys, I love this stuff, I get it from Ross and Marshalls, okay? But this one right here, specifically, I got from Marshalls, all right? Let's go in with a good bit of garlic and onion. And some of my Tony's with no salt because you guys remember we salted that uh, meat that we put in there to cook with okay it's going like that like that like so mm-hmm along with some black pepper just a little bit you guys because the uh, roasted garlic has pepper in it as well all right we're gonna close that one up a little bit because we're not gonna use the no salt Tony's anymore. Stir around all of our seasonings in there. You guys, I'm also gonna add some sugar because that's what I do. You don't have to use sugar. This is just something that I do. I don't want them to be super sweet, so I only use a little bit, okay? You do not have to use sugar. But what I do want you guys to do is season to taste of your own liking. Whatever's pleasing to your palate, you season it that way, okay? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add some water in this baby. When I come back, I'm going to put the lid on. All right, you guys, I got my water in there. I'm gonna stir those beans and that meat around like so. Let's go ahead and get the cooking. Let's put that lid on. Boy, I should've grabbed something else to grab that lid. That's hot. Let's go ahead and put that lid on. All right, so we're gonna grab that lid like so. Put it on top of that pot and we're gonna wait for that to cook. The next thing I'm going to start on, you guys, is my pork roast. The oven is already hot. It's on 425 degrees. And it's ready for this meat. And I almost dropped it. Whew. Okay. Let's get this meat started. All right, you guys. So I brought you guys in closer. And what I'm going to use is the Pork Perfect Pork Rub. All right. I'm gonna use that on my meat like so. Season this baby generously because you want it to be full of flavor. All right, clean hand here. To put my pepper on. All right. Like I said, season all sides. You guys, pat your seasoning in. Do not rub. Don't rub all the seasoning off. It might be kind of spicy, but guess what? It's gonna be good. Okay. Gonna go in with some sazon. All right. By the time I finish seasoning, you guys are gonna think this baby is cooked, but it's not. All right. Now that we have our sazon on there, let's go in with some Tony's no salt. We want to go with that salt free Tony's. Come 
I'm only going on one, one side, that's the top and the two sides, okay? I'm not gonna go over the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna get some assistance from my husband by getting the uh, liquid smoke. All right, you guys, my husband is back with that liquid smoke. You got, I'm going in with the Hickory liquid smoke. I'm gonna put that on there like so. And while that's going in there like that, you guys, I'm gonna take this fork and I'm just gonna stab and tenderize this meat. And all of that beautiful seasoning go down into this roast. Oh yes. You can stop when whoever tells you to stop, all right? There's a bone here, so I know I'm not stabbing too far down in that part. All right, I'm gonna take this fork, stick it down in there just like that, give her a flip. Okay, go back down in there with that hickory smoke liquid again. I want this baby nice and smoky, you guys. Just like I'm taking her off a of grill. There's one other thing I'm gonna put in here and that is some Chavettas, okay? This Chavettas is bomb, you guys. If you don't use Chavettas, where was wrong with you? All right, this is Chavettas, you guys. I am going to use this like so. All right. It's basically a marinade seasoning as well. We are going in with it. It is vinegar based. So if you do not like vinegar based anything, please don't use it. But that vinegar base brings the extra flavor, okay? All right, husband, can you hand me that roasting pan? So with our roasting pan here, we're gonna go in and stab that baby one more time like that. And put that meat in there, okay? Guess what else I'm putting in there? All that flavor from out of this pan. Okay? Look at that. You guys, that looks delicious. And yes, I'm still poking because I want this baby to fall off the bones that's in here. All right. You guys, I'm going to cook my rice off screen. And when I get back, you guys, we'll show you how everything's looking and how far we come with cooking our pork roast dinner. All right, you guys, we are back. I have taken my roast out of the oven and have drained all the liquids that came from it. Now I have a bowl of sauce and some other secret ingredients in here that I'm going to mix up with my whisk. After mixing up, you guys, I'm gonna spread it all over this roast, okay? I want this roast to be nice, flavorful, have a sweet and tangy uh, sauce on it. I like it nice and sticky. Okay, let's see, I'm going to show you guys how the sauce is looking. I have all my red chili flakes in it. You guys, it's ready to go on this roast, okay? Just make sure all of your ingredients are mixed in well together. Get you a silicone brush, okay? grab this one that I've had forever in 500 years or you can take it put it on there like so and after putting it on there you guys can brush it on any way you would like Ooh, I know there's somebody in here waiting in the background for a taste Hmm. All right, that's how that's looking, you guys. I'm gonna sneak him a little piece off of it. Give me a fork, babe. 
because he wants to taste. Got those hands rubbing together and all. <laughs> all right. Oh, look at that. You see that? I didn't even cut it. It is flip right by a knife. Oh my God. Did you guys see that? Didn't even have to use a knife, baby. Let me let me know how it tastes. Oh yeah. There you go. You can take this knife back. I don't need it. Cause that's how we do it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put some sauce back in that spot that somebody wanted to taste off of. Okay. You guys, I'm gonna stick this in the oven for another 10 minutes, you guys, to make this thing nice and sticky. I'm gonna pour all of this sauce on there like so. Okay. And yes, I do know sauce is in the bottom of my pan. Because guess what? This thing is not going to stay on the top of this rack. I will be taking that off. And when I take that off, you guys, the bottom of this roast is going to be in that sauce. Okay? Alright, let's get it back in the oven. I still have my oven set at 425 degrees. I'm going to set it back in the oven for about 10 minutes. Let the sauce get nice and sticky, you guys. You guys, we are back with the dessert portion of our video. And my daughter and myself, we are making a Carolina walnut brownie. Say hi, Nevaeh. Hello. All right, so what we're gonna do is have her pour both bags of the brownie mix into our bowl. Let's go ahead and do that, baby girl. Okay. And you can hand the trash to me, okay? All right, get your other bag. Great job. Now, the first thing I want you to do, you guys, this is calling for one fourth cup of water, one fourth cup of oil, and one egg in each box, okay? Since we are cooking two box, we have two eggs, two, uh, two cups of one fourth cup of oil in each cup, and we have two ramekins here with one fourth cup of water in each cup as well. All right, the first thing I want you to do, Nevada, is pour your water in there, okay? Both of them. Mix our water. Good job. Now, the next thing you're going to do is take your ramekins and put it on the side. Stack them inside each other. Great job. Now, you're going to pour your oil in there. Be careful. After you pour your oil, then you're going to put your egg in there. Okay. Alright, put your ramekins on the side. Now you're going to pour your eggs in there. You guys, I poured the eggs in a bowl for her so that it won't be any shells in our brownie because the only thing I want to crunch on is a walnut. Alright? Now that you have all of your ingredients in, now you're going to stir. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get it mixed in. What? What? Come on, we gotta go in a circle. <laughs> She's quite the tickle box, you guys. Wow, it's so chocolatey. Yes, yeah, so chocolatey. Let's turn it around this way. That way we can get everything mixed in really good. Okay. Uh -huh. You see that can with the red top on it? Uh, this one? Yep. Great. You guys, I got an aluminum can that I've beaten up really good. Hold on. Let's put that on the side. Put our brownie mix on the side. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do is spray this pan. Spray the whole thing. You spray all of them in one area. That's okay. Alright. Now, I'll put it in the pan for you and then you can help put it in the oven, okay? Alright, let's get you down off the stepping stool. Okay. So, I am going to take over for Miss Nevaeh. 
and put our mix into our pan here. Oh, you want a spoonful? Yeah. Okay. So I took it off the front, but I'll let you get the back. How about that? Yeah. All right. Mm. It's good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we know who likes to eat vermi dough. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna help her out here, you guys. First of all, we're gonna stir this a little bit more. I see some mix in the bottom, baby girl. I didn't mix it. We both did mix good. You guys, I am super left-handed. <laughs> so if you can't see, my apologies. I'm the one that has to have everything turned a different way. Spread this around in the pan like so. Okay. And I have another big baby on the side. My husband's calling for this spoon. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess I'll leave him a little bit of chocolate on the spoon right after I get this spread out. You guys, I like mine's cakey, not fudgy, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for 35 minutes and then we'll see you back then. been 35 minutes since we last talked to you guys our uh, brownie is now done you guys it looks delicious i hope it tastes the delicious nevea all right you guys see my rice here i have some green beans here as well as my pot roast you guys i'm about to fix a plate let you see how it looks here's the final results plated i hope you like what i've done please like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell and also share until next time we'll see you soon bye